Now, it's not just politicians getting harassed by leftists. In Tulsa, Morgan Casper found a hateful note on his porch condemning his support of Trump. I love bringing in regular people who have to deal with this in their lives. So the person who left the note kept returning. So Morgan confronted her with a camera, great job, to find out why she was targeting him. Morgan joins us to tell us what the harasser said, give us the whole story. Morgan, Hello. good to see you. I, see you too. This is like you're... You're now considered brave because you support Donald Trump and don't hide it, apparently. Yeah. What happened? No, so I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a very loud Trump supporter in my neighborhood. There's, uh, there was Bernie Sanders posters everywhere and Hillary uh, posters everywhere. So I was like, why not? I'm just going to put a Trump, Trump sign up. Yeah. Well, uh, it seems like she didn't like that, and I got hateful notes left on my porch. Were they threatening, or were they just like, you're a racist, you're a terrible person? Uh, they were just like, you're a racist, you're a terrible yeah. person, just because I'm a Trump supporter. So, so you wanted to find out like who it was, you didn't know who it was. Yeah, I couldn't figure out who it was, so I got a camera and uh, caught her on camera, uh, caught her on tape. So, now, now, your wife is Indian, and they said you hated dark-skinned people. Yes, correct. Yeah, I, I, I happen to have you know adopted kids, and one of them's from Guatemala, so yeah. when they when they say that to me, I just laugh. I'm like, yeah. okay, how many, how many, how many people have you brought into your house that needed help? You yeah, know, it's, it's like... funny. It's just funny how they assume, um, just because I I'm a Trump supporter, they assume that uh, I'm a racist. I don't like women, all that stuff. It just makes no sense to me. But what what is her? What, if you ever try to dig into their mind, I mean, it might not take very long. But you yeah, ever try to take... dig in, you know, try to figure. Okay, what is it about wh how, what you were taught to either? Act this way, treat people this way. Anonymous notes. It's so wimpy. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's weak. I mean, whether especially when you see these back backpack wearing adult men yeah. with back backwards baseball caps. Yeah. I mean, most of them, these you know conservative women could probably beat them in arm wrestles. I mean, I'm <laughs> sorry. So just try, just 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 like actually do an arm wrestle with them. You can just yeah. be, settle it that way. But what is it like? It's your generation, man. This yeah. is your. This is you know. What are you? 20, Thirty years old? 20, I'm twenty eight. Twenty eight. So 28. this is your generation. Yeah, it's my generation. What does it's, it make you feel about your it's generation? It's disappointing. It really is because uh, all my life I've been I've been grown up by adults. So I'm I'm used to seeing how adults live, um, not by how children live. And I feel like I don't even want to go back and see where a lot of these this generation grew up from because yeah, it probably make me sick. It's infantilization of yeah. adulthood too. They're out. So they're all acting like they're still in yeah. their fraternity. Yeah, they don't want to work. They don't want to grow up. Their Thursday, their Thursday night seminars in yeah. college where they can just vent about how yeah, rotten right. America is. You're right. Uh, thanks for the story. Yes, we appreciate you're it. Love bringing in just regular people. Well, how do they deal with being a Trump supporter in in public life? Well, they don't. Some people hide it. He didn't.